Hey guys, Mick here. I get to talk to you guys today about wisdom and discernment. And it's pretty awesome. It's one of my favorite things. So today we read in Mark chapter 11, um, and there are a lot of things that happen in chapter 11, right? There are uh, moments when Jesus enters the city and it's triumphant. He goes in and he clears the temple, um, flipping tables and um, clearing out you, people using it as a marketplace. Uh, shout out to my Crossroads kids. We just learned that the other day. So I am so happy that you guys are paying attention and that you're watching this. Then Jesus goes on and curses a fig tree. He gets his authority challenged by the Pharisees and he quips back and puts him in their place and it's awesome. Uh, there are so many examples in this short chapter of the Bible that we get to come in and learn about and take in individually and break it down. But we get to step back also and look at the big picture and see that every single moment in this, God is and Jesus is using it and is deliberate in every single thing that he does. It's not on a whim. There's not even the moment when he curses the fig tree. If you just focus on that, it looks like he's hangry because he's going to get a fig and there's no figs on the tree. So he curses the tree. And when I first read it, I was like, nah, he's just angry. But later on reading it again and again you understand the reason why and I'm gonna let you guys discover that a little bit more um, as in your reading but there are no sections in this that is on a whim in Proverbs chapter 4 verse 7 it says gaining wisdom is the wisest thing you can do I don't know why but to me that always sounded so funny and I love that the the, the, um, the simplicity of it that gaining wisdom is the wisest thing you can do, right? And so I'm just gonna challenge you to take a step back in whatever's going on in the world and whatever's going on in your life, because it's not just the coronavirus right now. We have all sorts of things that are going on in our lives as well. But I'm just gonna encourage you and to challenge you to take a step back and look at the bigger picture. Look at all the things that are happening and seek wisdom in what those situations are. Seek that discernment from the Holy Spirit to come in and to give you that wisdom and to shed some light on what is happening and be encouraged by it, be peaceful by it. If you're being challenged by something, figure it out. Gain the wisdom, seek wisdom in that. And if there's a change that needs to be made, make the change. I mean, it's the gaining wisdom is the wisest thing you can do. It's so simple. Love you guys, talk to you soon.